Hate Week is here. Okay? Hate Week is officially here. Jason Pierre Paul, New York Giants, getting ready for our first game against the Washington. I mean, not the Washington. <laughs> I just been watching so many Redskins videos lately. Um, the Dallas Cowboys. Now, first order of business. I saw my boy Eric PABC make similar comments in his video. I'll make the same comments. Just because our Hate Week video is on out on Monday, does not mean that the Giants Big Blue Nation has disappeared. There's no need for a Hate Week video to be out on a Monday when the game is a Sunday night game. Now, I know how the Cowboys and a lot of teams in this NFC East work, and you just want to talk all the trash you can before the season starts and the, and the push comes to shove and the games start being played and we see who the real team is. Oh, real teams. Um, I know that's how it is for you guys. But still, no need to rush. The game is Sunday night. Right now it is Wednesday night. No need to rush. That being said, now that I'm making a video, it's time to go in. Cowboys and Cowboy fans. First of all, let's discuss Jerry World, Cowboy Stadium. We all know Eli Manning and the Giants own your stadium. It's a fact. We've never lost there. So what makes us think we're going to lose there? What makes us think that's, a, that's a, a road atmosphere we can't win at? Nothing. Now let's look at the rosters. Because you know what? The Giants roster isn't perfect. And I'm willing to accept that. I'm not going to be on here like some of the ignorant fans that probably don't even know who started on their offensive line come out here and tell you that our team is perfect. No, we have a rookie starter at right tackle, Justin Pugue. Okay, that's a problem. And you guys have good defensive ends. But let me just, let me just discuss one thing. Because you guys were talk, talking about how you're going to stop Eli Mann in the offense. Who is going to cover our receivers besides Morris Claiborne? Answer me that. When Morris Claiborne's covering Hakeem Nix, who's going to cover Victor Cruz, Ruben Randall? Who's going to cover the tight end, Brandon Myers? Hmm? Oh, Sean Lee's going to cover Brandon Myers. Then who's going to stop the run with Dave Wilson? Go ahead. Shrug, Cowboy fans. Shrug. Shrug. Do it. And all, all in synchron synchronize. Let's go. Shrug. Shrug. You have no idea. You, you Cowboy fans, better hope that Anthony Spencer and DeMarcus Ware each get two sacks. Each. Because if they don't, I don't know how you're supposed to stop our offense. That's just offense. Now let's get to defense. Um, we all know that Tony Romo has never had any problems playing against the Giants. He's never been pressured, never been sacked. Jason Pierre-Paul and my boy Justin Tuck are going to come back to form. And if they don't, if they don't, we still have pass rushers. Now, O.C. Manure is gone, but we still have pass rushers. Let's just talk about your, your second year, our secondary against your wide receivers now. Because we know your running game is not going to do much to us. DeMarco Murray is not going to run all over us. Let's just talk about your receivers. You got Des Bryant. Solid. One of the best receivers in the league. All right. Now, do you expect Kevin Ogletree to have the game he had last year? I don't think so. Do you expect Miles Austin to be the same he was last year? I don't think so. Tony Romo prepared to be pressured on offense. And now I'm just going to get down to cold hard facts. This, this is directed toward the whole NFC East, even though this is a Cowboys Hate Week video. This is the NFC East, the whole NFC East. Study something. Look at some stats. Look at some schedules. Look at s something before you go talking trash. Because you have no idea what you're talking about. Talking about, I've heard Redskins fans say they can win the division. That makes sense. I've heard Eagles fans say they can win the division. That's asinine. And the Cowboys, you're not winning the division. We all know how the Cowboys operate. Nothing ever gets done in Dallas. New coach, doesn't matter who the coach is, doesn't matter who, what stadium they're playing in, who they're playing, you're, you're not going anywhere. 
you don't have the defense to do it. And you're going to see that when our offense comes out there and tears you up on your home field like we do every single goddamn year since the stadium opened. That's why Eli Manning signed on the wall in the locker room. First game at Cowboy Stadium. And the score? Giants won. How about the next year? One. How about the next year? One. Nothing changes with you guys. It's the same soap opera every year. Jerry Jones, you're gonna fire your coach. Oh, I like him. T Tony Romo, you prepare. What you, what's your goal? Oh, I'm gonna play in the playoffs. Cowboys, man. Cowboys. It's been a long time. I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna open this up. Might as well. It's been a long time. A long, long time since anyone in the NFC East has won a ring. Now, I'm pretty sure I said Super Bowl 46. That was uh, two Super Bowls ago. Less than two years ago. <laughs> so don't say the Giants are irrelevant. We've won two Super Bowls in five years. We're not irrelevant. We're here to play. We're going to win the NFC East. I'll get to that later in my NFC East preview video, probably coming late tonight or tomorrow. But the main goal here is whoever, whatever Cowboy fan wants to come on here and challenge me to any sort of bet, I'm ready because I know my Giants are going to come out and beat you. I'm, I'm saying it's going to be close. I'm not saying it's going to be a blowout. But we're going to beat you down. It's like we always do at Cowboy Stadium. Nothing changes with you guys. And everyone knows it. That's it.